Hi, I'm Denise and I'm on the ACARA team reviewing the Australian Curriculum English. The overall aim of the review is to improve the Australian Curriculum from Foundation to Year 10 by refining, realigning and decluttering the content of the curriculum. In particular, we're working to refine and reduce the amount of content and duplication where we can. We are also focused on improving the quality of the content descriptions and achievement standards. We want the Australian Curriculum English to be clear about what is most important for students to learn and therefore what teachers have to teach. With English, we consulted with academics, drawing on their expertise and research as well as the publications, experience and expertise of our professional associations. We sought the advice of the Primary English Teaching Association of Australia and the Australian Association for the Teaching of English. The Australian Literacy Educators Association also provided their expert opinion and the Australian Council of TESOL Associations offered advice from an English as an additional language dialect perspective. We reviewed the approaches to English in other countries and systems and we considered feedback from ACARA's annual jurisdictional monitoring reports. We referred to version 3 of the National Literacy Learning Progression to inform revisions to the progression of learning in English. We also heard from teachers who shared their experiences about implementing the Australian curriculum. We've established two new English reference groups, one comprising teachers and the other made up of curriculum officers from across Australia. These reference groups have helped guide and inform the review. We also had a separate reference group with primary school expertise. They have been able to give feedback on the manageability of the curriculum, looking across all learning areas at specific year levels or bands. The current English curriculum continues to be well regarded, but drawing on the background research and working with the reference groups, we did identify some key areas where the English curriculum could be improved. We could better connect the content in strands with the achievement standards in modes. We could use core concepts to connect content descriptions across the strands to better integrate understanding and skills and develop deep knowledge of English. We could remove ambiguity and improve clarity and consistency in the content descriptions. We could review the achievement standards to improve consistency across year levels and progression of understanding. We could give greater emphasis to the receptive mode of viewing and the productive mode of multimodal presentations in the content and achievement standards. And finally, we could find opportunities to better embed the general capabilities and the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cross-curriculum priority. And so, we've proposed the following for the English curriculum. Firstly, we have identified core concepts to show the interrelated nature of the English curriculum. We have revised content descriptions to provide greater clarity to teachers about what to teach, and reduced content to avoid repetition within the learning area or with other learning areas. We have refined the achievement standards to reflect the language and demands of the curriculum at each year level and strengthen cognitive alignment between content descriptions and achievement standards. We've authentically included the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cross-curriculum priority in the content descriptions and content elaborations. And we've improved content elaborations and ensured that there is a clear relationship between content elaborations and the content. We have created a What's Changed and Why document. This document gives you more detail about all the revisions we have proposed for the English curriculum. Take the time to have a look at this document. So now, we're looking to hear from you. This is a simple three-step process. Read the consultation curriculum, familiarise yourself with the survey, and finally, complete the survey. It's really important we hear your views. We want to hear all your feedback, positive and negative. Your responses will help shape an Australian curriculum for the next generation of children. To give your feedback, simply complete the survey. Thank you.